Pwede, uh, pwede kong uh, matbilis ang tempo nila. Meron silang uh, Rafaela. So, I think doable. At uh, Olus is decent versus uh, Yi Sen Chin. Kasi si Yi Sen Chin, ano eh. Um, farmer siya. Isa lang i-dash niya, basically. Unless, of course, mga pag-passive siya. Ma magamitan niya yung passive niya. Tuloy-tuloy. Uh, pwede lang makakadash mak away. But, technically speaking, itong Olus plus na Rafaela, pwede siyang mang down na mga kalaban. And that's the idea here from Blackness International. Early game run down versus a late game Aldous. That's what we can expect in this game. And, if anything, next play, what they're holding on to, what they're using, uh, para hindi ma-run down, it's yung superior vision. Superior vision play and CC. So they have that in spades, and dami nilang ways naman disrupt or mag-disengage after mag-pumilit ang blacklist. We'll see how they do this. Again, I'm talking about vision, meron sila nung uh, mountain chucker, ni Yusin Chin, tapos meron pa silang uh, uh, chase fate. Na, wow! Ang dami nilang global vision, Wolf. This is... Minsan lang magkalito ang blacklist. So that might actually be uh, a key here, right? Let's see. We're going into the game, game number one. Mga mata ng next play Evo, sapat ba para malaman kung paano sila makapasok ng late game. Here we go. This is going to be wise starting off in his uh, purple attack mirror. Dito, PH2. Kadensa already going for the reset. Uh, pero hindi total yung reset kasi tinamaan ulit ang hero instead of the actual buff. But very nice try. Iso pang gulo siya dito. Yung presence siya lang dito, pumukunat na yung mga, main, yung mga jungle creeps. Eh. So, yung mapapatagal ng kote. Yep. We already know na yung Olus mabilis mag-take ng jungle yan. But with the help of uh, this uh, Johan era. Ito po yung ano, play style ni Cadenza. Sobrang, uh, this wasn't uh, present ng MPL Season 8 tsaka ng M3. But now, na-miss natin ito kasi we rarely see Johan eh. Yeah, uh, the effort is appreciated, pero Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Del Rosario not gonna let it happen. That rotation cost them about 200 gold uh, in the lead. One minute in, makapag-boots agad yung Haji, penetration beats. And yes, lamang ang next place addition, pero pag hindi sa rotational speed, Blacklist has it now. Ngayon, macha-check naman dito si H2, Cadenza, Haze. Nalapagan dito si Oh My Venus ng Mount Wisps. And that's going to be Haze put down to a third of his health. So far, so good. Just like that, one layo na pala ni Weiss. Ang bilis na mag-farm. This is a very fast Aulos. Yeah, I wonder. Pwede niya gamitin tong tempo na to para mag-gulo. Kung dari itong bottom lane, meron kang ultimate. Tapos pwede nilang i-go yung kaso. GL card. Si V, why? Si V. Kamot dito pa. Close, but not quite. Aldous, first blood on the gold lane. Aldous, Donut falls, pero may trade. Mountain Shocker on a recalling of Venus. And ngayon, papasukan ni Cadenza underneath the turret. Tapat, yung damage. Pero my trade. It wasn't an execution, and that's still a kill going over to Haji. Ang ang ganda ng laban na ito, Wolf. Tutu agad, two minutes in. Ah, dami agad bakbakan, and everybody just starting to brawl into my mid lane. Almost the dying yung ibang mga members nila. Tapos may bigla tayo makakita ng first blood sa top lane na nag-asim. Mountain Shocker na parang hindi yata ganun ka-expected. Mukhang mo nakatingin sa iba si... Uh, Nag-TP kasi. Si Queen mm -hmm. Baka hindi rin niya matatakbuhan yung uh, range ng uh, Mountain Shocker. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Queen V is, in those lull moments, I'm guessing, again, at main shot caller, no? Nag-check siya yun na pwede pang gawin, na pwede gawin sa mapa. So, uh, exactly. that, that's definitely something that sometimes you can't avoid. Para po, memory dito ni Owl, kinulang pa ng stocks kay Donut. Gonna force the recall here, but it's not safe. Do it over there. Uh, top half of the map, committed by Blacklist International, si Cadenza. Pinaprotecta ng farm ni H2. I wonder kung anong uh, itsura ng farm ni H2 dahil maliit lang yung gap, honestly. But oh. again, the same 200, 300 gold between them. And it's still gonna be all about that mountain shark and that vision. Oh, and daming gold. Three gold on this turn up top. Cadenza. Threatening one. Holy baptism. Malalapagan ba dito? Mabibigyan ba si Hayes? Answers no. In fairness, ah, mas mayama dito si Yisen Chin, which is H2 over Wise. So kahit may lead of Blackness International, overall, may mga mayayaman na sa NXP Evo. So maybe they can use this to get some kills in the map. Mr. Salonga got that paper. Let's see where Black International can make up for it. Econ Economy-wise, no? Lamang sila man spread out. Siguro yung pera ng Blacklist. Uh, and there was a wind talker, I believe. And here's something to notice. Before we talk about that, here's a big team fight. First, a stun. Now, BT is a stack. Turn apart memory. Hindi ko makakuha si Owl mid lane. 
Force push here. Let's talk about it, Wolf. Uh, Demon Slayer. Previously known as Mage Killer on Wise. That emblem. Para para di mapapili sa mga tea party. This is not the first time he used it. At siya rin isa sa mga proponents nitong uh, emblem na to. Kahit pa dating dati pa, I mean, years ago, nung hindi pa siya mm -hmm. part of Black Lives International. And it's all about just heavy farming. Talaga yun eh. Try mo maging ahead sa kalaban mo. And then use that uh, gold advantage para manalo sa mga duelo. And eventually we'll see it in action, especially when they start thinking these major objectives. But wait, fight down here in the lower half of the river. Ureshi dashing on through. Guiding him for the haze. Let's see. Oh, reward revelation put in by Sonic Imam Haji with that sun. Cadenza goes down. The slow and the turtle claim going over Mr. Del Rosario, Blacks International, making that lead all the more present. 1.5k about in five minutes. Sobrang ganda ng execution ng Blacklist International. Hindi nakapwesto yung next play Evos. And Blacklist was able to use Haji's ultimate real-world manipulation. Na-nerf na ngayon, pero it looks like the able hands of Haji, alam niya, alam niya yung, uh, yung calculation. And was able to get a kill on Cadenza. Nung wala ng HP si Cadenza, na kinaya na ng Blacklist International na mag-dirt and save. And essentially, that, that led to more of a lead dahil nababalance nung lane na yun sa top lane. It alleviates some pressure. Down bottom, Ureshi versus Dominic. Wolf, kanina pa natin sinabing actually worth it yung first pick Esmeralda. Pero eventually, nakuha pa rin naman. We're seeing now how it's doing so well. Dominic sitting at 1-0. and zero. All this yeah. while, si Ureshi, bumabawi naman. Nagahanap ng bawi dito, especially in teamfights. I think that's where we'll see it more. Hayes gets spotted. Same sila ng mechanics ng Rafaela, no? Same sila na parang they need to be a little close for the vision. Cadenza uh, with the TikTok play! He gets one! And that's going to be a close hit call on to the Aulus by Pasiwai's defensive use of the real motivation. Oh. Haji always, uh, pati dito si uh, uh, v Venus, making sure na niligtas nila doon. Kasi sobrang ganda ng initiation na from Cadenza, but with all of the sustain na mayroong Black Lives Matter. Cadenza gets caught out here with a stun. Ao gets the kill. And so far, good news for H2. Nakuha niya pa rin yung kanyang uh, purple buff. Pero tinawa pa pasok dito. Si Donut gonna get stunned here. Still alive, surviving the field. Guiding wind on Ao! Oh, another kill! Oh, max range on that Brody. And there's a jump! I'm gonna go check out Dominic. May punish mo dito. Wala kay H2. Hindi siya mahuli ni Ureshi. They're gonna get away with this. Two free kills yeah. on the side of Blacklist. Exactly. Kasi nagtinaloy ni Donut yung kanyang uh, ulti at handa-handa si uh, Venus with his uh, Holy Baptism. Pagbaba na pagbaba, maging nakonte tapos magstun. And obviously, may damage output na dito si uh, Wise, pati si Haji. We need to play behind turtle. dito ang NXT, pero yung Blacklist. We gotta keep the tempo up. Yeah, and the choke has begun. Seven minutes in, after taking uh, the turtle, swiftly going for the orange. You saw H2 try for it. But again, makikita mo dito yung talent H2 sa pagbabasa ng retry. Hindi niya inasim. Hindi niya inasim. He didn't use it. So he's, it's safe for the next uh, major, major uh, objective take. Pero looking at the gold, 4,400. Uh, Wise is 500, 5,000. So ahead na. Nakalamang na. So nahanap na ni Wise yung uh, gusto niyang gawin with that Demon Slayer. Yeah. With uh, so, so much of a lead. Parang halos item ahead na siya kay uh, H2. And next play ko ngunting na namin ko paano sila mag-crash. I mean, sobrang last part of oh! the first. Donut and Cadenza, that two-man combo, not enough to take down Owl, especially with Queen V next to him. Holy healing, keeping him alive, Cadenza. Conceal play, mahanap dito. Kaka! Circling Eagle on two eyes. Mr. Delosario, sang kapupun ka. Goes in for the fight. Oh no, I'm dying to be quiet yet. Pero mga magsisya dito. Let's give me the jump in. Takes two. Hey, takes him down alongside Goreshi. Matapos sila. Dominic looking for one. Nagamit yung life. Always time home. Haji! Saliki Mom gets one more. And then the falls. Goreshi and Apopisha. Hey, backing out. That's gonna be a push up top. And down bottom, that's two. Tier 1's going down, mid lane for pressure dito, 4v3, how can they defend? Ooh. That's a pull in, nice go by Ureshi, and a pushing H2, the Owl, this might have been too much for Blackrift to stay, stay straight, ginamit doon ni Donut, sinatatalan na niya, target cancelled, magpupush na lang siya instead. Oh, Napakagandang set of events para sa next play Evo, kasi sa lahat ng gulo nangyari nakapagpush pa si Donut sa napagfarm siya, effectively 2k na lang yung lamang ng Blacklist International, ganda nung collapse sila kay Wise, Especially using itong Matilda para sa defense. 
they get out of the EVE ultimate dahil sa kanila mga flicker well done and well executed for that NXT EVE ultimate oh wait bottom lane Dominic come on Tiga na it's enough that's gonna be a two man fault down bottom and here we go another one real world manipulation Sally Kimon puts it up kailangan nila makuha ito that's gonna be the commitment by Arlos why is gonna secure this ninth minute lord and just like that they call retreat Venus Starting the dispersion, and it's gonna be Alcott out. Man, so much hard to malayo, malalim. Ang Brody pero bawe down goes Koreshi one for one so far in this extended team fight, and that's going to be a good trade for next week. Ha, bukid ng konte keeping this gold lead for about two k. Galit talaga ng uh, ginagawa ng NXT Evo Street for the Kings kasi they're backing on their knockdown tapos may common damage out mo ng H2 so that's well done Fortunately, Blacklist International no? galit nila mag-trade so nakita nila there are two people in the bottom lane including yung jungler ng next play Evo so sinumulan agad nila finas clear agad nila itong Lord and with the ultimate pala kay Haji na ang aim lang talaga yung mag-zone out hindi makapasok sa area of control ng NXP ang NXP ng Blacklist International Yeah. And now up top, Lord, nagsisimula na magmukhang pula. Baluarte ng Black Ops International ang mapa. And uh, slowly but surely, next play Evos, their plan here is to defend first. Take down this first Lord. They still have those inhibitor blasts. Pwede pa rin uh, mag-wave, ma-wipe itong wave na ito. But look at this. It looks like Black International are committing. There's a real revelation. Power Zone is any donut. Ace to finish the job. Down goes Owl. Meron pa ba? Still no trade on the side of next play Evos. Yes! Just two down, H2 gets the double! Down goes Queen B, napasama pa yata, Black Ops International may have overcommitted here! It's a double kill! John Paul Salonga! What are you doing? Down goes Dominic as well! At titigil ng Blacklist International! Hindi rin sila napag- Split push dun sa my bottom lane. Napaganda ang chain of events para sa next play. Ang kita ng shot selection nila, going for the backliners first. Meron din silang chains na. Imagine mo, meron silang Rafael, uh, meron silang Matilda, meron silang Johed, tapos meron din konting stun itong uh, oh, um, itong, oh, um, Aldous, as well as this Ruby. Yep, so that's not Conte, that's four! And oh. Duffin on Wolf! And that's Black. becoming trouble for Blacklist. Ang late na nung gold lead, man. Kanina na sa 2K, ngayon 1K na lang. And even Blacklist oh. knows that it's dangerous to fight! Sama mo pa yung bangka ni H2 pag siya sa kali. So literally, lahat sila may stun. That's why so, <laughs> yung, mga dami, yung mga clashes na malapit sa base ng NXP EVOS will always uh, favor them over Blacklist International. Yeah, so that, that was one mistake that next play was waiting for Blacklist to make. Or not a mistake, but for them to read into. So now, nakuha na next play yon, which gave H2 a triple kill. Sitting at 602, so obrang safe ng using Shin na to. Let's look at the items. So, Dominance Ice, obviously, yung makita natin yan. Malakas na rin ito si Eve. We're going for the Brute Force Breastplate, the standard build-up. Kailangan nila ng mga anti-heal kasi ang uh, Blacklist International nakasustain po lahat sila pang sustain yung kanilang composition. So having those uh, anti-heal mechanics will be of uh, high value para sa next play Evos. Mm -hmm. And it's actually confusing no? yung dynamic ng dalawang lineup ngayon. Lalo na naka-ariba na sila. Let's put it at that. Naka-ariba na sila. 9 and 7, 12 minutes in. Parang both of them kind of wanna ube. But both of them kind of don't want to do that at the same time. Because it's delicate to do the one that will come. H2 meron siyang uh, barko, ah, may Dauntless Fleet. Oh, watch out. Tatapusin na ba? Nako! Sinimulan ng iba. Kakainin nung kabila. And there's a real revelation! And they take down oh. Cadenza. Nice jump in by Dominic! That's a holy baptism! Taking two down! Hayes and Cadenza bites the dust! The going to be wise to curing the Lord. This is Luminous getting at 13 minutes in. Abort mission, sabi ni Donut. Nothing there for me to get. And that's going to be a wave he left to pop. Pero masasalubong siya ng isang Luminous Lord. The choke resumes. Blacks International gonna take the purple away here from H2. Maganda dito sa ginawa ng Blacklist International. They fought outside of the base. Tingnan mo yung timing. Hindi nag-ulti agad dito. Ah, wala pa lang available kay Donut. But I've gone for the Mountain Shocker para nakita ng mga NXP Evos. Kaso, masyado ng late at natalo na na sila. Yung jump ng Esmeralda, combination with the Evos, so deadly in this game. Kailangan mo i-respect yan. If you're NXP, yung mga laban outside of their base, hindi sila papaburan doon. Red Team turret has been destroyed! And that's where the Ube doesn't happen. Mountain Shocker helping clear the wave. Nagkumpol-kumpol doon. Lord na lang natitira in that one cart. 
That's gonna be an inhibitor up top taken down. Meron pa shield itong mid. And it looks like wala na. Another inhibitor falls here. For next play, Kibos. Donut. Tatrabalo sa mga And there's a rule of relation. Plus! The Undying Fury! Mas tayo sa one dito si Ureshi. And there it is! Owl gets one! Ureshi taken down. And here comes Donut. Ako na si Owl. Not enough. It's going to be a tough one. Owl flickering in. Tinapos si Wise. Down goes the Owl. And then the fall as well. Popping immortality. Pugeri pa yung siya. Buhay pa. Still underneath his base. 4v3. What can happen, Wolf? Another falling star move on H2 Fold. Hagi gets the kill. Mega kill. This team is unstoppable. Papabagsakin ni Hayes dito. He wise with the Rotario Fallen for now. And there's a smart miss out. But you don't even want to survive for so long. Hayes, the only one left. He's clearing the waves. He's struggling. He's trying. This one time. See, James Gold Medalist cannot defend by himself. Let's see, Oreshi. Kaya ba nila to? Ooh, man, defense. That's a full in. Oh, he's sobrang baba na. Ang tagal, walang damage dealer sa base. Retreat, sabi ng Blacklist. Woo! Twenty defense para sa next play Evos, but lack of international na pagan ng execution. No tinalona ni Aldus si Donald, sorry si Owl. Going for the wind of nature. Tapos meron ginamit niya yung walls. Nagtawalon siya asa the wall. Tapos nagflicker forward. Hindi rin siya na punish yun. Eventually mawamatay don si Owl, but masado na na pagkopit si Donald as well as si H as si Gadenza. Kaya naman eventually na patay lang sila ni Wise. Iyan na have to come. Comment, etong siya Oreshi, etong etong siya Yelly Hayes. They tried their best, and so far, mamaboy sila for one more fight. Yep, that's the Batahanon and Castro combo. But look at this, Donut using that chase fate in a defensive manner, and there you go. Some snaps put in. Dominic finishing the job. Papa Bugs, I need to see Haji. Alikima must fall in. That's going to be a collapse. I make my evos. Let me bow with you on blacklist. Down goes Cadenza. Hayes, where you going? Sumasayos, sumasayos si Dominic. Stealing these shields. Baka siya pa mapatay dito. And that's from the backline, Owl. Audi, the assassin. The marksman assassin. I'm dying fury keeping him down. Ureshi, boy pa. That's still going to be a takedown. And it's just H2. John Paul Salonga wiped out. Owl scores the maniac. Blackless International can smell the finish. You can smell it. Jumping forward. It's so good. Last crash na yun, kasi nag-in out, kung mapansinin mo, di ba, na corner yung mga members ng NXT, wala silang nagawa dun sa in out, in out ng Blacklist International. Very well orchestrated na fight, and every time, yung pinakahuling clash, nagsimula siya nung naharap nila si Aldous, and without Aldous, dapat huli yung Aldous na dating eh, para may panggulat ang side ng NXP Evos, dahil nauna si Aldous, kinumit na nila yung ultimate ng Rafaela, which is the Holy Baptism, tapos ultimate ni Eve, and they had enough damage dahil dun sa lockdown at nyo sa Dok. Kasi armor lang naman talaga ang makunat para sa isang Aldous.